quick glance on Le Mans Ultimate right here, right now. One of our not-so-secret testers was kind enough to write down his experience with the Le Mans Ultimate Sim. Thank you, Nick, for your write-down. First of all, the test was done using a Thrustmaster DD wheel on which you could only use the pit limiter and the shift paddles. The system was set up so that during the whole start sequence you only saw stills of the game and no menus at all. Understandable and we suppose that under the hood the normal R Factor 2 setup and loading happens as in the sim. Speaking of R Factor 2, everything looked very much as it looks on the latest build. The sun, the way the track lights look and turn on, even the sound and the details in the cockpit. Because of the way the Thrustmaster wheel was limited in its functions, there was no way to do anti-roll bar adjustment on board despite the new generation of LMH and LMDH cars being able to use it, neither was there a way to do some kind of hybrid engine management. We suppose it was not programmed into the sim yet. Physics wise, the car felt like any other well done car on R Factor 2, no surprise here, and you had all the effects tires have on R Factor 2. Tire loads braking, loose wheel when rear tires are spinning and heavy wheel when front tires are locked under the braking, correct weight transfer, extremely precise handling model, etc. Unlike NASCAR 21, all the physics present in R Factor 2 are also here. We've already seen the night and day pictures of Le Mans and even wet and dry Le Mans, so that seems to be there or at least planned to. Let's hope driver changes and pit stops, including pit strategies, will work. This might be easily the best thing Motorsport Games has done since they bought Studio 397. How they've done that? Copied the good all R Factor 2.